What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jinx, and uh, I'm walking up to that beautiful blue and brown building that y'all all know and love so well. The Gal, the Tampa campus of Galen College of Nursing, and um, it's a good day today. It's pretty good, like 70 some. Feeling great, you know. Uh, but I got some. A little bit of tough news right here, you know. I ain't studied all week, and we got a test on Tuesday. So I got a little bit of time today, Thursday, you know. So y'all probably want to know what it is I done learned, you know, for this past week. Week and two days, maybe, I don't know, past week. I done learned about... Uh, you know, bl blood vessels, you know, that we got the arteries that's going from the heart. And we got the veins that's going back to the heart. Uh, I learned, you know, that, you know, the difference between you got the, the arteries, the medium-sized arteries, the arterioles, and the capillaries. Or medium-sized arteries are also called muscular arteries. Uh, that gas exchange happens in the capillaries. The arterioles uh, have uh, sphincters, and and uh, between the sphincters and the arterioles, that really um, those are really what's mostly affected during vasoconstriction. I learned about blood pressure and how there's a constant homeostatic balance and imbalance between bicarbonate and uh, carbonic acid. I learned uh, about the respiratory, uh, so the pulmonary circuit and a respiratory system and how the lungs don't have any contracted muscles, so the diaphragm and the, uh, and the, the muscles in between our ribs, which I have forgot the name of, which I promise I will study and know the name by the time of the test on Tuesday. Okay. But I got a good a good idea of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's C knowledge. That's C knowledge. And we in nursing school, you know what I'm saying? And C's don't get degrees in some of these nursing schools. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was seeing that some of these nursing schools got, you know, the lowest grades you can get is an 80. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to be on they, on they track. You know what I'm saying? Even though here at Galen you can get a 74 and you can pass, but I ain't with I ain't with the 74 thing, man. We 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 here to be the best. You know what I'm saying? Because we nurses and, and and to be the nurse to be a nurse to be somebody who who can care for somebody it, in the aspect that a, a nurse can. You got to be the best. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to be. I hope all y'all trying to be the best as well. So I mean, moving on. Again, with the net respiratory tract, we got um, the conducting zone and then the respiratory zone. The conducting zone starts on the face with the mouth and the, uh, you know, the nasal cavity and the nares or, you know, nostrils and whatnot. Uh, goes back to the nasal cavity from the, from the nostrils. Drops down into the, uh, I don't know, I guess this. Uh, I don't know if the trachea comes first or the larynx, but uh, pr probably the tra trachea, then the pharynx, then the larynx, then the epiglottis, and oh, oh, see, that's where I messed up at. The epiglottis and the glottis is up here with the vocal, because the vocal cords are in the glottis. So, so maybe it's trachea, glottis and epiglottis, then pharynx and larynx going down into the uh, primary bronchus, secondary bronchus, and respiratory bronchioles um, to the alveolar or alveolus sacs. And then you have the av alveoli, 
inside the sacs that those gas exchange with the capillary beds attached to the alveolar sacs inside the pulmonary circuit which go back to the heart through the pulmonary veins that are oxygenated. The pulmonary veins are oxygenated, oxygenated and the pulmonary arteries are not, are deoxygenated. So they have about 75% of the oxygen that they had at the time that they were, uh, when they first got oxygen from the heart. So that's what I've learned so far. Um, it's a brief rundown. I'm sure that I know more if I was to be asked questions, but that's what I can pull off the top of my dome right now. So um, that's pretty good, but I'm about to go. That's why I always come to school early. I'm out here doing these videos. I'm going to learn some. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to study. I'm going to really, really get on this study thing. And, um, you know, I'm going to pull out pull out some good grades oh I bet y'all want to know the first exams for this quarter in human anatomy theory I scored an 87 and in human anatomy lab I scored a 92 and those were over the endocrine system the, the endocrine system the heart and like uh, like blood biology so like blood anatomy blood biology and now we're going over blood vessels uh, like the second half of blood biology, arteries, veins, and the respiratory system. So, hope y'all got that. And uh, it was beautiful talking to y'all, like always. And yo, hit me up, comment, like, subscribe. It's your boy Jinxie. See y'all next time.